Today you're gonna learn how to play Dunwich by Electric Wizard and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we help you master doom metal guitar tone, technique, and theory all while learning your favorite songs and riffs. So if that sounds like your type of thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. For Dunwich here, we are in B standard tuning. I've got a set of 12 to 56 strings on this 1995 Korean built Epiphone G400. This is the same guitar that just used all the way up through Witch Cult today in our Electric Wizard. And so uh, I thought it'd be perfect for this lesson. So today we're using a Behringer SF300 Super Fuzz. We are on the boost setting and I've got the pedal set up just like this. And from there, we're running through a 90s Maniant built Orange OR120 and then out through the Two Notes Cab M Plus Cab Simulator. As always, you can follow along with the complete tab for this lesson and every other lesson on the channel on both guitar and bass and actually drums on this one and a few of the more recent ones at patreon.com slash does it doom. Join the private Facebook group, join the Discord server and check out all of the bonus unreleased tabs uh, and of course tabs to accompany every lesson. So check that out, got a link directly below this video. But with that, we're gonna start out with a quick demo and then we're gonna come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. One really cool question I had in our Does It Doom Patreon exclusive Facebook group was, okay, so I know all these scales, how do I make songs out of them? Well, you can see in this song, it's a really great example of just some different riffs using some different scales. We started out with the harmonic minor scale, then we had a riff in the natural minor scale, and then we end the song with this riff in the minor pentatonic scale. So very typical of Electric Wizard, actually, if you go back through some of the lessons, you'll see that they just bounce around between that blues scale, minor pentatonic scale, harmonic minor scale, Phrygian mode, and uh, natural minor scale. So a lot of this, this entire genre is like that. So one cool thing to do is just pick a scale, write a riff, then pick a different scale in the same key, write a second riff, and maybe even pick a third scale and uh, write a third riff. And it could be just like this, harmonic minor, natural minor, and minor pentatonic. And so just a quick tip there and an observation, something that happens very often and hopefully can help you in your own songwriting. I'm not saying you have to switch scales or that you even have to pay attention to scales, but it's kind of cool to just pick two or three scales and maybe write five or six riffs and string a song together from there. All right, so we're in B standard tuning. This one is rooted at the seventh fret on the sixth string in the key of F sharp minor. So B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp. Now, one interesting thing is if you ever watch them play it live, I don't know why they do this, but they play it 
uh, two frets lower so in the key of E. So all the riffs are exactly the same, you're just gonna have to move them down the neck if you wanna match live footage. If you wanna match the record, you just play it exactly as we're gonna teach it here. All right, so I started the song off with a bit of feedback on that root note. I'm actually using a Digitech Freakout to generate that feedback because I'm playing silent to record the lesson, but it goes like this. jump into this first riff. This first riff uses the harmonic minor scale and it goes like this. So we've got a root, a minor third, and a major seventh is what gives it that harmonic minor feel, this major seventh. So we hit that root a couple times, then we grab that minor third here at the 10th fret, and you're gonna slide it down to somewhere around the fourth or fifth fret. Then that riff ends with this. So the chords are So here we've got a flat sixth interval, and then that minor third and major second. So all kind of still in that harmonic minor scale. So playing the whole thing as I played it in the demo. Next riff uses the natural minor scale and it goes like this. So I'm calling this one natural minor because we are using the root the major second, the minor third, and that minor sixth. If you're enjoying this lesson, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. So now the third riff is a bit of a variation on the first riff. So it's really just that ending. So for intervals, you got a minor third and a perfect four, still just in those natural minor, harmonic minor uh, scales. And so now for the fourth riff, we're keeping that ending and just changing the start of that riff. So when they play it live, I actually never see them do the... never bounce back and forth, it's just...
but in the tab and on the record, I think I hear it go. Now note that this riff just uses the minor pentatonic scale. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. I wanna send out a huge, huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and now Riff Messiah tier producers. For more content just like this, you can click this YouTube video directly below me. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi, is your friend.